Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Casual Gamer Dad. We are back in Planet Crafter. We're on the hunt for some iridium because we need to get our heat built up. So we need a bunch of heaters. So we'll come over here and grab some of the iridium from the cave over here. Always count on iridium over here. And we had that a rocket last time that actually dropped iridium and when I load it back in the iridium deposit was gone so I don't know don't know what happened to it there was no more iridium but it sucks but luckily for us we have a iridium cave right here and let's get what we can down here then go Oxygenate up, then go back to the base. Oh, there's a bunch of it over here. Okay, let's go. Oh, no. Okay, I thought that was super alloy for a minute. I'm like, what in the world is super alloy doing over here in this cave? But... Alright, so let's load up here and let's get quite a bit more because there's a lot I want to get done want to get a lot of heaters we've got plenty of power so we shouldn't have to worry about that at all because um, we actually built our I believe it was tier 2 nuclear reactor last episode so that was really good and while we're exploring this cave here, please take a second and uh, take a look at our sponsor sponsor for today's video. I can't talk. I'm so sorry. I'm tired as can be. But today's sponsor is TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy helps you get the views and the followers that you need. Um, they have specific tools designed for... Uh, getting views, they've got a keyword researcher. The keyword explorer is actually uh, pretty nice. It tells you uh, which keywords actually work best for your video and which ones you should be using in your tags as well. So be sure to check that out and click the link on the description down below and you actually install it for free and get started today. And I do get a little, little kickback for every one that gets installed, so I would greatly appreciate it. It helped the channel and get some new games in here, and which leads to more content, so I would greatly appreciate it. I think we're going to need some silicon too. I don't think I'm going to have enough for what I want to do, but we'll have enough to get started, I think. I think. So we've got enough to make a few heaters see how many we can actually make here I'm gonna make a, as many as we can we need to get that heat going really really good so uh, there's one uh, aluminum oh, we've got a bunch of aluminum so let's go down over here I believe I've got plenty of aluminum uh, I've got enough so might have enough to make a few more. Of course, I want to keep this side open here to expand out that way. So, in case you're wondering why we're not putting them there. That is why. Uh, titanium and silicon. So, uh, I think we're going to have to go hunting for that. Uh... Get rid of some of this iridium here that we've got. And go ahead and get uranium back where it's supposed to go. Okay, now uh, titanium and silicon, correct? All right, we got our titanium and silicon. So let's get our iridium back here. And we just unlocked our water collector. So we'll check that out in just a second. Um, but first let's get these. How many can we make in a row? Just three. Okay. Let's get these. Okay, there we go. And can we get one more? 
Okay, can we... Can we get any more? Uh, let's go get one more iron. And get one iron, and then we can... Make another one. And that should be enough heat for quite a while. I'm hoping. Let's see. Okay, so we've almost got a half a room full. I would make a tier 3, but those take up so much freaking iridium. It ain't funny. Okay, so our heat is up to 1559. And reason I'm wanting to focus on heat is I want that biodome too. So we really need that heat to get up there. And then got the water collector collects and filters water from water sources okay uh quartz we're a long way away from quartz and i mean a long way and we got a gas extractor automatically extracts gas from the ground i don't think i've ever messed with that so we've got a long way to go on those uh but let's see do we have enough for a water collector uh three nuggets and an alloy. One, two, three. And that's gonna be enough right there. So let's take and put it right about here. So there's our lake water collector. Awesome. And it collects five, eight bottles of water. Okay. So eight compared to the four over here. Do you take... Yes, you take 19 power. And what do you take over here? 19 and... You actually don't take power. Okay. That's a pretty good trade-off. I'll take that. So if you're short on power, those would actually work better. But Okay, let's see what else we have that we need to get going with here um and is that just a dust storm or is that some meteors i think that's just some dust storms okay so i want to try the gps rockets again um there's got to be something to those because there's nothing updating on our little map over there so let's go with the GPS ones. Uh, so we need a rocket engine, a compass, and alloy. I don't think I've got enough alloy though. I think I'll just use my last alloy. Uh, so. Yeah. But I think I know where I can get some though. I think there's some in a cave over in that area because I think we've about tapped out on the other side I believe let's go in here and put this stuff up and then we'll go check and let's go ahead and top off on food as well while we're here uh, okay we got you got you okay so let's go over here and let's put you up and what do we got in here okay so in order to build some compartments we need three three iron so just three iron okay so uh, that's no problem one two and three then one, two, three for storage container. Yeah, right, so let's go over this way. I believe there's one up here to the left. Okay, here it is. I believe it's I believe we've got some alloy in here. So let's uh I need a titanium. I thought I had enough titanium. I guess not. Um easy enough. There's one. No problem. Okay, so you're built. Let's get a storage container. Probably need it. Let's go ahead and throw all of you in there. 
And let's go check out this cave in here. Uh, I believe there's some steel alloy in here. That's what I'm counting on. Oh yeah. Oh, super alloy, not steel alloy. And we've got a little chest back here. Not a golden chest, but we'll take it. Um, don't really need none of that right now, so I'll just let it, leave it be for you. Um, okay, so there we go. All kinds of alloy in here. I'll take whatever you got to offer, sir. And there's another chest. What do we got here? Ooh, alloy, take it. Uh, hang on, what kind of seed was that? Nope, you're no use to me. Well, let's see, do we have any more? Hopefully there's quite a bit in here. Because I need a lot of it. As long as we don't get turned around and we can find our way back out. Because this is a pretty... Pretty big cave, and that's pretty neat too. Look at that. Oh, that's hopefully that's part of the map where they're going to extend it. And that update, I'm really looking forward to that. They're supposed to have it out within a couple of weeks. They're supposed to have some new, uh, new caves, uh, new environments, and it's supposed to be all around extension of the map. I believe they said they were going to extend it by 50%. This is what they said they was going to extend it by. Okay, let's check out this chest over here. And I think that's the same one we were in a second ago. So, yep, we're right at the beginning of the cave. Let's go check oxygen. Then we'll go and make one more sweep before we go back home. Don't want to want to make sure we don't miss anything. I believe it just makes a big circle. If I'm not mistaken. And I think it does, so... Because we got... We come around this way. And... See? Always double check. Okay... See? Nothing, nothing, okay. Oh my god, guys. I think I just found another underground base. I don't think we've been to it yet, so we're gonna go... Check that out here in just a second. Uh, it was just out in the middle of nowhere. Um, I don't think I've seen it there before. So we're, we're going to go. We're going to go check it out. See if we can find any goodies. Uh, usually there's goodies in there. So let's go check that out. Let's put all of our silicon up. Let's go ahead and empty everything we've got here. Uh, you were my aluminum storage. Where's my sulfur? Right there. Let's put you in there. And oh nope, don't you put there. Okay, stop. Thank you. Okay, so let's go check this out. Um first let's see if we have enough to build us a living quarters while we're over there. I think we should one, two, and three. Okay. Now let's go check this out. Our food should be fine until we get back. Should is the keyword. But yeah, I was just flying back over here after exploring and I just seen it out in the open. Um course now if I can remember where it's at is gonna be a different story um, I've only found a handful of underground bases so if you all know of any please please let me know there it is if I don't know if I've ever been to this before or not I don't remember uh, so let's build us a little uh, quarters here and whoop, pop in really quick and now let's go down and see if um we have not been down here okay let's go ahead and take everything that you have to offer 
Ah, so there's n absolutely nothing here. And I got excited for nothing. Our ship has crashed for unknown reasons on the planet. Many of us died on impact. Some of us died on the surface. I'm the only one left. I tried to survive, but this land is too hostile. My health is getting low. I'm going outside one last time to try to find some water. Okay, and that was in year 3037. Uh, does anybody have any idea what year we're actually in? Um, I don't have a clue. Uh, I don't know if there's anywhere that says it either. I'll have to look when we get back to the base. Okay, we're back. So let's see. Uh, okay, we got a couple messages here. To whom will we receive this message? I'm a planet crafter sent on the Magoria 3 planet. If you receive this, it means you are near. Maybe you are a planet crafter as well. The weather is atrocious and I'm running out of resources. There's not enough on this barren world to transform it. I don't know why I chose this. Death would have been more pleasant than this hell. If anyone can send me help, please do. Okay, I managed to sneak the information. I read that you have more chance of success if you build your base in altitude. I'm not sure why for now, and if you manage to heat the planet enough, some caves should become accessible when the ice melts, and one last thing you, you can, end of communications, okay? Encrypt it. Use ore extractors on different areas to extract specific materials, and rockets are really important and helps boost your generation, okay? So apparently somebody's trying to help us, and they're trying to stop the communications, but, okay. Uh, so that's going to take a little bit more heat. We might have to end up doing the tier threes. Don't want to though. I don't want to do the tier threes. Take a lot of iridium. Uh, as you see, our biomass is going up pretty good. So I wonder if we have unlocked a biomass rocket yet. And yeah, this is just fertilizer and stuff. So have we unlocked... Oh, we have unlocked the biomass rocket. Oh, okay. Um, so what do we need for that? Let's go check. We gotta do the biomass rocket. Got to, got to, got to. So. Oh, launch pad. Tell me what I need. Um, biomass. Need fertilizer. Oh, uh, we need tree bark, and we can't get tree bark without the other biomass dome. Dang it. Uh, I do, oh, okay, so we need to work on that biogas dome. One, what do we need to unlock that with? Need heat. So we're almost there. Two. How much electric do we have? We've got 229 available. Uh, should we go ahead and do a tier 3 heater? You know what? Why not? Let's do it. We got the rod. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, silicon. We've got that. We've got silicon. I think we've got silicon for days. Now I just gotta find it. Because <laughs> I know we have it. Okay, so let's go up here and do a tier 3. Um, whoa, you're a big boy. Okay, um, put you right about there. Now, is that helping us at all? It actually helped a little bit. We went from 20, 21, 29, so it's gently, gently going up. And... We are actually going to the moth stage, okay? And I mentioned a moss. We haven't collected algae in a, quite a while, so we need to go check on that. Now, the next stage, they're going to have insects, amphibians, fish, um, and other things as well. So, I'm really looking forward to that. But I think as of right now, the farthest you can go is the... You get the insects, but you don't actually unlock them. So. so having fish and things of that nature, that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty neat. So definitely looking forward to those updates. 
And we got quite a bit of algae. I ain't gonna lie. We need to start making some stuff with that. Um, so let's put our nugs up, our alloy up. Uh, oh, we got plenty of out. Uh, alloy. So let's make a couple engines. Uh, radium rod, uranium. So I've got one, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So go ahead and make the, the rod. Go ahead and make the engine. So we have one engine. Uh, let me get some food and water really quick. Food, food, water. And where did we have our... Um... There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, put that up. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, now where are we looking on our heat? Uh, 9.8. Should we do another tier 3? Why not? Why not? Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And a silicon. I think I've got a silicon somewhere. Yep. Okay. So, iridium rod, and we should have enough. Yes, we do. Now, I'm really thinking about, uh, like I said before, I haven't got around to it about redoing our base, but I think I might actually just uh, expand on this one. Just might expand it. Yeah, that's helping our heat quite a bit, so that's good. And what I'm thinking of doing is my original plan was to build out that way. So what I might do, um, cause you can't build under the, well, over the rocks or through the rocks. Um, so what I might do, what if we built that way? I think that'd be pretty cool to have an over the lake base, don't you think? I think that'd be pretty neat. I think, uh, yeah, I think that'd be pretty neat. Like build out from, I'm not sure how high this lake is going to get. That's the only thing. I think that's probably about as high as it's going to get because it's going to go about right there so maybe if we can start from maybe right here or even start off right here and go that way i think that would be pretty neat that's something i have to think about so and wow that clicked up water pretty fast so it's actually pretty faster than that. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Because you are pretty slow, my friend. One thing we can do... Um, we need to do something with our food. We need a bunch of food growers. So for now... Um, let's, put our, let's put some food growers out here. Uh, food growers. Yeah. So let's put our food growers maybe... Hmm. Do we want to line those though? Because that would actually be in the way. What about... Uh, getting them right here. Do I need iron, aluminum, and water. So let's do. Uh, let's go and put that, and now let's get a bunch of iron. At least, and that work. Okay. Up, oh, hang on. Where are we at? Forgot what we're doing. Okay, here we go. So let's get another one right here. Need at least six, at least. 
at least. Which we should have plenty of power. Okay, so we need one more aluminum. Okay. Yeah, exactly what we have. One more. Alright, so let's see if we can place this down right here out of the way. Yep, pretty much. Okay, so let's get... Uh, one, two, three... Uh, let's do... Four eggplants. And I think the peppers, as far as food-wise goes, to actually consume actually grows better. And it actually gives you more nutrients. Okay. And since it's... I, don't, I like that dark look in here though. That's, that's pretty sweet. I love that. That is really sweet. See, as you can tell, fertilizer takes eggplants. So that's why I am doing that. And see the methane cartridge that will unlock with the gas extractor. That's what we need that for. So, um, anything else here that we can actually uh, build at the moment? Because we got the bio lab, we got the living compartments. It's like I think we're using everything we've got so far. Um, see if there's any upgrades that we're missing here. I think we're already using tier 5, we are tier 3, tier 2 agility boots, uh, already maxed out on that, Let's see, what do we have here, exoskeleton 2, which one do I have now, exoskeleton 2, agility boots tier 3, uh, we're using agility boots tier 2, so what do we need for three uh explosive powder and i think we can do explosive powder can we do explosive powder i think it's just yep two sulfur so let's go get a couple sulfur here and i can't remember which one you're in there we go and we'll go ahead and get the agility boots tier three Okay, so let's take our agility boots off here, and uh, there we go. Now, a little bit faster movement. Probably when you're flying, but can't really tell right now, so. Uh, let's do mushrooms back in here. Wash your... Okay, you're ready. Alright, so we've got our food going, so that's really good. Uh, put you in there. Uh, okay, let's put our... I wonder why we wasn't moving any faster. It's because, uh, didn't have our boots on. Okay. So. Let's go up here and let's actually, let's go check on our heat really quick. Uh, okay, so we're almost to that biodome. So we're almost there. Uh, terraformation is looking pretty good. Uh, oxygen is going up quite a bit. Pressure is sort of stalemated a little bit. Which we could probably do with another drill or so. Uh, but the easiest way would be a, a rocket. So. Let's run really quick and see how much we need for a pressure rocket. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. Okay, so pressure rocket. Uh, two more silicon and two alloy. Okay. No, you can do that. No problem. Alloy. Dun, dun, dun. One, two. And now let's launch another pressure rocket here. And that should jump up by thousand uh, and that's what we want
Uh, and launch. And we're going to go hide in the base. <laughs> I don't want to get struck by those uh, meteors. Okay, yeah, so... Oh, 4152-ish. I believe that's what we've got so far. So, it... And I believe the rocket's already gone. Yep, right there. And here comes asteroids. Oh, of course you'd strike out in the middle of the water, really. Oh, and you'd... Okay, you're dropping on the wrong places, pal. Yeah, need some water. Uh, we don't have any food on us, that's good. That's good, okay. Okay, let's play Meteor uh, Chicken. You want to? Let's go. Come on. You and me. Right now. Go have it out. Oh, that was close. Uh, oh, that was really close. That was really close. Okay, and so which one is this one? Is this a Ur Iridium again, or is it Uranium? Don't remember... I uh, don't really see anything. Okay. We okay. It's um iridium. Okay. So that's gonna be an episode today. We've got a lot accomplished, actually. Um, we went and found another steel alloy cave. Well, super alloy. We built our heat room up hope next episode we should have that new biodome unlocked and that's gonna be really awesome uh actually it's almost unlocked now so uh so yeah we got a lot accomplished if you enjoyed the episode please remember to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as usual love you guys see you next time